a bruising private meeting with his caucus, the Prime Minister had only one public message. The party is strong and united. But some of his own MPs made it clear it's time for Justin Trudeau to go. It's incumbent on me and all my colleagues to do what we think is best for our party. And what's best for our party is to change of leadership. CBC News has learned that behind these closed doors, the Prime Minister was told that two dozen of his MPs signed a letter calling on him to step down. Patrick Weiler, the first to stand up to make their case and tell Trudeau he has until October 28th to decide. Do you think the Prime Minister should stay? It's not up to me. It's up to him. The most important and fundamental decision of a leader is when to stay on and when to decide to throw in the towel. Whatever the decision is, we will stand behind him. During that caucus meeting, sources say as many as 20 Liberal MPs voiced their concerns about Trudeau. Even some who stood behind him said they want a series of changes to the party. It was the first time that we discussed this and uh, that was really important. I have a lot to reflect on after uh, um, speaking today and listening to my colleagues. We've also learned the Prime Minister told caucus he would reflect on what he heard, but said he wasn't convinced he had to go. He's quite clear about his intentions and uh, I don't expect those to change. Some MPs say the infighting could be doing more harm than good. As my colleagues need to turn the knives outwards and not inwards. The Conservatives seizing on the Liberals' division as ammunition against Trudeau. His caucus is revolting. Will he call a carbon tax election today? <laughs> Once the Prime Minister decides what he's going to do, those trying to oust him will decide how they're going to respond. And actually, in theory at least, could that include consequences? Well, Adrian, the deadline issued on behalf of some MPs today did not include any consequences, but that could change. For those who want him gone, this is just the start, even if Trudeau may have hoped that MPs airing their grievances would be the end of it. All right, Ashley Burke in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Ashley. So this is obviously a good moment to bring in Chief Political Correspondent Rosemary Barton. Rosie, what were you hearing about exactly what happened behind those closed doors? It wasn't an easy meeting for the Prime Minister, Adrian, obviously. For more than three hours, those 20 or so MPs stood up, complained right to his face about his leadership and lack of response to some of the things they've raised in the past. We're told it was respectful, but it was very direct, very frank. The Prime Minister was at times emotional, particularly when talking about the impact of those anti-Trudeau protests and flags on his children. He said he didn't sleep very well last night leading up to this meeting. He listened. He took some notes. But he also said he believes he's still the best leader to lead the party, that he cares about the country. He, he said he would reflect on what he heard from people today, but there was certainly no indication either at that caucus meeting, Adrian, or, or subsequently that he is going to leave his job. Okay, so no, no sign of change from him, but, but this has to still be concerning. It's destabilizing, for sure. It's not helpful when you're trying to govern or go after Pierre Poiliev and criticize him. This October 28th deadline is a little perplexing, too, given the prime minister has really given the answer to that. He's indicated he's staying. So his office will spend the next few days talking to people to see what's next and how they should respond. And tomorrow, the government is going to try to turn the page from today by announcing a major change in direction in their immigration policy. A government that embraced immigration will now lower their target number of permanent residents by 20 percent, meaning for one day at least that leadership question may well take a backseat. All right. Thanks, Rosé. I cannot wait for that issue tomorrow night. <laughs> thanks.